So we're uh, back on the track again, just heading forward, it's the old railway bed. At the crossroads, you just head straight forward. You're walking with a taxi driver today. The sign says Drybrook Road Station. And because we're up on the raised old rail bed, you can see right into the woods. And if you look, there's plenty of these little beetles here wandering around. Got like uh, blue legs and that that leaf there just gives you an idea of scale so he's about oh, after three quarters of an inch long I'd say and if we see here we see obviously, obviously something's eating them because there's all the shells of the beetles look and we've got a robin just outside the railway line. And with people up ahead. When we get to White Gates, we just go straight over. And then you'll see a tiny section of old railway line, but it's, it's made into sculpture, if you look. Each one of the middle beds, as you can see, is like a different sculpture. And then as you walk along, just keep your eyes up and on the right hand side, and it looks like a, a dog just down below. Sculptured dog, obviously. And we just keep heading forward. And you'll pass a sign on your left hand side that says Sculpture Trail. But I'm just going to give you a quick look into the woods here, look. At this time of year, you know, this is mid-October. It's absolutely fabulous with the, with the leaves and the light. And then we make our way under the railway arch then. Squirrel out is eating away, it's about 20 foot away, just near the bridge. He's gone. We arrive at uh, Drybrook Road Station. And at the tarmac road, we turn right. And you'll see a bar across the road there. You walk forward a hundred yards, past a couple of boulders, and then we turn right. There doesn't appear to be any sign for this to say Gloucester Way or out like that. So we head forward down that track. Like I say, there's no signpost at the top. But you can see Rogus to right, Rogus straight on, but just in front of you, when we're giving up hope, we see a sign there that says Gloucestershire Way, and then we turn left into the woods. We'll just give you a quick look, and then immediate, immediately we're into like beech forest, but it's all broadleaf trees of these, it's, uh, it's a lovely place. The woodlands at this time of year are absolutely fantastic and we're looking out for a wild boar and uh, keeping as quiet as we can. We found a clearing in the woods just in the sunshine and sat and kept pretty quiet for about three quarters of an hour. And we can hear the deer and we think we've heard the wild boar grunting but we'd love to see one. When you're in these woods, the expectation of coming across a wild boar it's quite compulsive, it really does sort of excite you, knowing full well that one could come out at any time. We've got a puff ball here, look. But as we're walking along, we've all the time looking out for these wild boar, but we've been talking to some locals this morning, and then they've said they've never seen one, so <laughs> I think we'll be, we'll be lucky if we do. It's a fabulous walk, it's a Gloucester way, it really is. 
you can see there the print of the wild boar there's plenty of tracks we can see where they've been digging the ground up you know we're still looking and if you look closely at this uh, muck there look it's full of tiny little blue beetles or seeds we don't know what sort there is but we think it's a mammal we really do it could be a fox could be a badger we don't know we've come out onto a little track now you know we keep following this side we turn right but it's well marked and there's a little man-made pond on the left hand side and just past the pond you'll come to like a a t-junction but you had and a gated road but uh, you head straight forward it's well marked I walk across the car park and you'll see the sign on your right saying welcome to speech house woodland go across the front of that keeping the road on your left and then we'll that speech house will be crossing over the road and you'll see tables in chairs you can have a picnic here if you want colors in the trees are absolutely brilliant when you get to the speech house hotel cross the road and you'll pick the path up at the other side then just in front of the hotel you'll see a, a marker there that says this is the center of the forest and there's the side of it looks like a good place for Sunday lunch or uh, a pint to me and then if we look at the other side it looks like uh, you know there's obviously reception in motel look at the other side it says 1861 Albert Prince consort Pansanger Oak from a tree in Pansanger Park planted by Queen Elizabeth and we're greeted by a herd of sheep that have just you know obviously they're running in the forest but they've come to see us and, you know see us on our way and that's just at side at road look there and then we pick up the footpath sign and just keep going and here we've got some fungus on an old stump it's just different we haven't had one like this before after leaving the pub we've come to like a track we're turning right just following the signs we just thought we'd give you a look at this you know fantastic countryside yeah we just keep following the signs and keep looking out for the you know the wild boar but we haven't seen one but it's great fun looking though pretty sure we've got a woodpecker here you know we're if you just turn around look here it's just a woodpecker oh that's fantastic <laughs> just in forest and we had a J fire up there and I've uh, got a woodpecker there that is fantastic we're a fair bit away but So we're in Forrester Dean. Seat squirrel. Here we are now back at the ponds and uh, we hope we've shown you a good day out in the Forrester Dean and we've had great fun looking for the wild boar. You can, we found the droppings, we found the, where they've been rooting and digging and we found the footprints but we haven't found it. We thought we'd heard it but we don't know if we did or not. But it's been a great time and uh, we shall be back again. We think it's a lovely place to come. First time we've ever been here. Well, you've been walking the taxi drive today. <laughs>